It's a good thing. It's a good thing the library can disguise itself. Riots and revolutions are all too often accompanied by burning books. Right then, very carefully. Hasn't noticed anything. Now, must be really quiet. To you, Headmaster. 469.41. Have a good evening, Headmaster, Madam. <coughs> well, my little one, have they been treating you well? <coughs> I'll get you out of here. I just have to take care of something first. Can't leave Buttercup behind. She may be a creation of the little Van Buren, but she's my pink coloured love hearty hippogriff girl. Ah! She can come with me as soon as I've finished here. She can wait in the town. She can come with me as soon as I've finished here. She can wait in the town. Very unlikely that a fire will be burning in that fireplace anytime soon. I wonder if all these transformations can be reversed when Wilbur finds a way of destroying the magic wand. I must admit, there was probably a time when I would have thought these sort of toys very exciting. But I was probably only 80 or 90 years old then. Lucky the council leader hasn't noticed that I've cleared the entrance to the rat hole. She wouldn't appreciate the rats having access to her headquarters. That's Wilbur's realm down there. I'm dealing with everything in the town. This division of labour's worked very well up to now. The jar's been fastened to the cupboard with heavy and presumably magic chains. I wonder if... Aha! Archmage Alistair! Are you well? I can't understand you. Blink once for yes and twice for no. What does no blinks mean? Hang on, can frogs even blink? Uh, I think we'll need to sort this out later. I'm getting you out of here. Lots of papers, feather quills. Hmm, this is interesting. A signet ring with the seal of the council leader. It's used to make laws and decrees official and identifiable. That means that until the council leader discovers it, I can pretty much pass any new law that I want. Right then, a new law. By order of the council leader, whosoever wishes to inhale the smoke of dried plants may do so for medical reasons. Furthermore, they are permitted to do so in order to write bad poetry or talk utter nonsense. That's for Arthur, should he ever come to town. Right then, 
A new law. By order of the council leader, with immediate effect, all pregnant elves must be treated with the greatest respect by everyone. In particular, it is forbidden to call them fat, to poke fun at them, or to try and kill them with an axe. Anyone breaking this law will be banished from the town. That makes it law. Right then, a new law. Two adult humans, dwarves, elves, or any other beings capable of rational thought are allowed to marry whomsoever they please, and in any combination. Only prerequisite, love. No one will be forced to marry a pompous ass just because he's a rich prince and mother thinks that I'm getting a bit long in the tooth. Mm, perhaps not the best phrased law of all time, but what the heck. Okay, Buttercup, you have to be really quiet now. No, quiet. <sighs> okay, let's go. I said quietly, Buttercup. <laughs> No, the troll was not your friend. He was trying to kill us. <coughs> no, I'm pretty sure that he didn't just want to play when he started hacking at us. <sighs> Be that as it may, Archmage Alistair is safe now. As soon as Wilbur has rescued Remy and knows how we can destroy the wand, we'll need to leave as quickly as possible. Morning's approaching, and in all probability this will be the day that we see the return of a very, very frustrated council leader. She's not exactly the most impressive of companions now, is she? However, up to now I've only ever had Cheap Cheap at my side. Which reminds me, where is he? Hello, Zloth. Blout. Ah, Princess Ivo. Hmm. About the amulet. Protect me from ghosts. Works good. Not attacked by ghosts so far. Could I borrow it, please? No. Then Blout unprotected. The amulet depicts the magic circle, but it's not magical. Blout got it from the bargain bin for three copper pieces. 
it could still come in useful. It's mine! Won't give! I would try to persuade him, but it's hopeless. He's almost as scared of ghosts as he is of the young Van Buren. Blout, how about I give you something in exchange for the amulet? I've got um, uh, a stone which protects you from the evil eye. Ever since I've had it, I've not been hit by any curses. Give you five gold pieces for it. I don't want to sell the stone. I want to swap it for your amulet. But Blout want to be protected from ghosts and evil eye. <sighs> Thanks for the chat. You were like a beacon of light in the darkness of night, Princess. Right then, a new law. By order of the council leader, with immediate effect, the wearing of magic protective amulets is forbidden. Well, I don't actually need a reason, just because. Whoever is caught with such an amulet will be punished with severe cuteness for at least six months. Right, with seal and everything. Hello, Zloth, Blout. Ah, Princess Ivo. Hmm. I'm sorry to have to say this, but you are a criminal, Blout. Blout not criminal. Blout stands here like good little ogre and sells strange things. You're wearing an amulet, and that's against the law. What it say? 
By order of the Merchant Council leader, and with immediate effect, the wearing of magical protection is forbidden because... Well, I don't need any reason, just because. Whoever is caught with such an item is to be punished with severe cutification for a minimum of six months. Huh? No! Blout don't want to be little girl with pigtails. Got to escape, love. Well, perhaps you can ask the friendly law enforcement officer to turn a blind eye. Who's I blind? What he means, Blout, is if you are really sorry about this and you can see you've made a mistake, then maybe the daughter of the council leader doesn't need to hear about it. Sorry! Very sorry! Very wrong! I will, however, need to confiscate the amulet so that you won't be tempted to wear it in secret. Hey. Confiscate. Take away. Oh, sure. You don't tell little girl, right? Blout want to stay blout. I'll keep it for myself.